Yes. Mm -hmm. Are these doctors always call a doctor? Mm -hmm. You know, if no help can be found, yes. General antidote such as charcoal. Mm -hmm. And I've actually used charcoal, just so you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Charcoal is good at the... Uh, well, it's good at, at uh, absorbing toxins. Yes. You can buy charcoal at any of the naturopathic stores. Yes. Country Air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sunny Farms. <laughs> if you feel like you're experiencing some poisoning, well, mm -hmm. uh, think about eating some charcoal because I do think it's very effective at removing any sort of poison in your physical bodies. <laughs> Now, I wanted to remind all the swimming pools that I have a technology called the Wind Water Scrubber. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for every one of you that have members that are supported by the membership as well as the taxing authority of the county. Yes. William Shore Pool. Ouch. You're going to end up buying. Now, I know that taxing authorities. Right. That get uh, six and a half million dollar grants, Clallam County. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need to use chlorine anymore. Poop. See, the HHO gas water scrubber. Yes, is effective at um, incinerating, uh, as in burning up. Yep, yeah. all known elements. <laughs> but it won't boil water. It doesn't cause an increase in the warmth of the water, except for when it um, mm -hmm. when it removes all poison and toxins and so on and so forth. Yes. Now, I think fresh water swimming is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to know the ownership of every swimming pool in the United States, both private and public. Yes. And then the actual amount of taxation that goes to support the swimming pools and uh, where you've been purchasing your pool products. <laughs> See, if you didn't have to spend that money on the pool products. Yes. And you're able to purchase from me an innovative new technology. Yep. Keeps the water clean. Poop. <laughs> Keeps it flowing. Yes. We don't need to use any chlorine or any other additives in the actual pool water itself. <laughs> I think it's better that Americans are swimming in fresh water. Yes. That has no pool products in it. <laughs> now, for every city and county that said, well, we're not buying your innovations. <clears throat> you are going to buy. And then I thought that every city of the United States, regardless of size, maybe 500 to 1,000 actual residents, yes, little police departments everywhere in the United States, <laughs> that have four to five police officers, yes, you all are getting a new swimming pool that I'm going to provide to you. <laughs> See, the thought is, yes, mm, mm, if the water supply of that individual city were to go through the swimming pool, mm -hmm, and was to be agitated because of the swimming available uh, to the individuals that live there. Yeah. And was to be when scrubbed. Yes. Through the uh, water purification system that I have. Yeah. The fresh water that the actual residents drink is healthier than water that is not agitated. <laughs> See, let's say you live in a little town anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> you have a small police department. Yes. Yes, give me every police department in the United States of America. <laughs> and your city doesn't have the availability of, of putting in a swimming pool. They're enclosed swimming pools. Yeah. Um, they're made out of recycled garbage. They're really not much of anything. It's kind of like I put in a large Olympic-sized swimming pool made out of recycled garbage. Yes, it's compressed at 2,500 degrees. Mm -hmm. Produces electricity through the steam generation process. Pop! And I fill it with water and then I enclose it, yes, in a recycled garbage enclosure so it's available to you uh, 365 days a year. <laughs> I uh, put the actual water supply through the swimming pool. Yes, it's, it's constantly flowing through it. Yes. And then as you swim in that water supply, it agitates it, causing it to be a much healthier water for your actual drinking. Yeah, drinking water. That's right. Mm -hmm. After going through the swimming pool, I went and scrub it so as to remove all the impurities. Yes. And then quite often we decide to put an ozonator in there, causing it to be um, really electrified. <laughs> Two parts per million colloidal silver. Yes. When it ends up in your tap, there are little towns of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. 
The water that you're drinking is super, super healthy. Yes, it is. It does not have any chlorine in it. Mm -mm. It doesn't have any fluoride in it. No. <laughs> See, if you put it through an Olympic-sized swimming pool in every little town of the United States, <clears throat> there's probably like a million gallons in that Olympic-sized swimming pool, approximate number. <laughs> More than enough to uh, provide the drinking water from residents of greater than 500 to maybe 50,000 individuals. Yes. Now, for every police department that says, no, we're not buying this, pooch, you are. <laughs> because you're going to sell me. Yes. No, you're going to pay me. Yes. To take your garbage. <laughs> You're going to pay me mm -hmm, to install a steam generator. Yes. You're going to pay me to install a swimming pool. Yes. And you're going to pay me to make improvements in the fresh water supply of every resident of the United States of America. That is if you live in a town that has greater than 500 individuals living there. <laughs> no, I know. You're at home. You're like, the swimming pool is open seven days a week. What do you need? A lifeguard, a few employees. <laughs> How are you going to pay for it? <laughs> well, the electricity that is manufactured through this whole process, yes, does help support the swimming pool. So there's no out-of-pocket cost for the actual employees. <laughs> it's me giving to every small town of America <laughs> the necessary amounts of money, yes, because of your purchase of my electricity. <laughs> I got a fucking dog. <laughs> this is